Whoops. There goes the tweet. Okay. Goofed it just a little bit because the music didn't start, but hey, whatever. Uh, howdy, folks. So this is the first stream on the new mic. It's actually an old mic, but it's now wired into the mix. So we'll see how this goes. Um, yeah, I like it. Also, I think I've got the music a little bit better figured out. Um, the mix and the headphones a little bit. I've, I've got a more consistent feel for how that's going. I just did another audio test, so hopefully uh, it won't be bad. And I need to figure out a way. Something I, So something I added to the to-do list is, um, or the ideas list. Uh, actually, let me look at it on the site, can't we? Uh, Twitch ideas. So put one down here. Uh, see if there's a way to find the volume and beats per minute of a song. Uh, to make a playlist that has the same energy and loudness. So like, I was testing some audio stuff, or I was testing the audio stuff, and, uh, ooh, that's a little hot. And, let's see, bring that down just a little bit. There we go. Uh, hopefully that's better. Uh, still figuring it out, but this will be a good, a good one. Just to mark this, I have the audio currently set at negative 5.7 decibels uh, on the mic. That's about one devil horn away with a pop filter and the uh, H5 set to just a smidge over nine on the dial. So I'm the only one that cares about that, but that'll help me make a better stream for y'all. Uh, but one of the things I figured out when I was testing or that was, I kind of knew, but became super obvious when I was testing is the uh, different in loudness between songs. Uh, I was thinking it was, more like this but it's more like this so uh i would set the music for one or set the uh, the volume for one song there was maybe a low one and then all of a sudden like a louder one would come on and it would just completely overwhelm so uh I'll, i i'm more aware of how that's going now i can hear it in the headphones a little better so uh and i'm starting to make playlists that deal with all that stuff um uh, but that's not why you're here why while while you're here is uh, is because we're gonna play around with Hugo a little bit. Um, so I've got my Hugo site and I'm digging it. I really like it. Uh, I spent some time over the past little while making my drafts show up differently and then adding edit buttons so that I can uh, click edit and have it um, come forward just a little bit so I can edit a piece and work on it, uh, etc. So, but one thing, and then another thing that I've got going on is uh, if I go to this directory and I open my functions, whoops, doesn't need an AWS there. I mean, doesn't need a dot there. Uh, so I've got these functions that I've built and this one is Hugo deploy. Uh, so it just runs Hugo. So it moves to my Hugo directory, runs it, does a sync up to Amazon as fast as it can and clears the cache, and then does a full sync up to Amazon uh, and then clears the cache again. The idea being that hopefully that first one gets it, I can see the site pretty quick um, or see the changes really quick up, up front. That's only for me messing with it. Because um, when I deploy, I want to go check and that's the thing. So. But the other, but the thing I was thinking of is, uh, so my Hugo directory is woodshed alanwsmith.com prod. This is my Hugo directory. Uh, actually, yeah. So here's here's my full set of site stuff. Um, and what I've realized is I very I I just don't commit very often. Um, or not nearly as often as I should. I just, I'm kind of willy-nilly on the site. Uh, but what I was thinking I would do is actually just add a git commit to this to so that I'm at least archiving the site every time I deploy it. Um, it's oftentimes you would, if you're doing con uh, continuous development, continuous integration, whatever, you would commit and then that would deploy. But I'm going to have my deployer do the commit. Uh, because that's fine for this. Um, so we're just going to edit that real quick. I think we're going to edit it real quick. We'll find out. So I don't have a super great way to test this. 
Um, but the first thing I'm going to do is actually test. So I'm going to go into. Uh, hey, thanks, Steve. Uh, what do you think of the sound? I'm on the I'm on the new mic. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is figure out. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, oh, it's on the prod stuff. That's all fine. Um, excellent. Sounds good too. Love to hear it. Uh, so my the Hugo process is in this prod directory. Um, but really what I want to do is commit one level up. Or do I? No, I'm just going to commit the stuff that's in prod. Okay, so that's fine. So I don't need to... Um, what I was thinking I might need to do is do one CD into this top level and then run git in there. Um, but uh, I need better controls for the audio. I can, I can tell the difference now and I've got it balanced, but I don't have a good way to control it. Um, but so I'm just going to go in here and then really it's just going to be git add dot git commit m auto commit i could add a date in here but again this is just i just want to have the stuff rolling through um sometimes i'll commit it myself and that'll be fine um but occasionally you actually want to like or i just want it to i just want it to be committing this is more commit than i've done more commitment um so cool let's just see if that works so I'm just gonna deploy the site. Uh, so right now you can see there's all this junk here, which is, I think modific deletions, modifications, and additions possibly are what those icons stand for. I don't actually know. I just know that that means there's changes and I'm guessing the X is deletions. Um, if we run git status, uh, oh, I've got untracked files, which is, one of those two probably, and then modifieds and deletes. So those are the things that are going on. Uh, but let's just run HD and see what happens. Uh, so it already did, should have already run the get stuff. Um, oh, access denied. Ah, oh, I'm not on the right, I'm not on the right credentials. Uh, that's fine for now. Um, I've got different, Amazon directories that I get on, or get different Amazon accounts, and I'm not on the right one right now. Um, I can actually switch it, I guess. Uh, so here's my token. Oh wait, can does this button work? Personal prod. I built that a long time ago. I'm not sure if it actually works. We'll see. Ha! It did work. At one time it was broken and I knew I messed around with it, but I wasn't sure if I fixed it. But basically this little page lets me get, all, all of my Amazon accounts have MFA on them. Um, and so this lets me make switches between them and, or sorry, load the MFA credentials that you need to run command line stuff. Um, and then I can switch back and forth between them. Uh, they all last 36 hours. Uh, or a max of 36 hours. So as long as they're live, I keep a button there that I can click to switch back and forth. I'd forgotten that that was there. Yeah, so that makes it easier. Um, cool, so that's doing the push. We'll actually just let it go. Um, the, uh, yeah. right, so there's not actually, there's not anything new because I pushed this earlier today. Um, localhost so yeah that's this one all the rest of them are still in draft oh i made a bunch of extra i didn't stream that many times i need to go through and murder some of these uh was i testing the stream button why did i make so many of those i don't know because i've got a i built a little button here that makes those stream notes for me oh i know i was trying to make I wanted to switch it over to use BB Edit instead of Sublime Text. So I tested that a few different times and it made a bunch of different um, stream notes files for me. Uh, I'm assuming there's nothing in those. Uh, there'll be something in the last one probably. 
Oops, I didn't need to do edit. I could do, uh, I can actually just look at it. Yeah, so there's there's something in that one, but these rests are gonna be empty. Yeah, I'll clear those out. Uh, so anyways, uh, let's see if this is done. Oh, it didn't. Uh... Why didn't that work? Oh, uh... I didn't reload it. This, I think, is how you reload it. All right, let's try that one more time. There's the get stuff firing. Okay. It's rebuilding again. It's going to fire off again. Ooh, why is it slow there? Oh, maybe because it did the sync and nothing needed to happen, but it took it a little second to figure it out. Sweet. We'll give that a second. Um, but the other thing... Wrong site. So if that works, the next thing I want to do is get Hugo tags working, or is get tags working on the Hugo site. Um, I know Hugo has tagging stuff that's like built in. I just haven't done it and I haven't used it. So I want to play around with that and just kind of see what it takes to get that going and how it works and make sure and if it works the way, if it works the way that I like, I'll turn it on. If not, I might have to hack around with it to get, to get it doing what I want to have it do. I just don't know what their, um, what their process is or how it works. Why does this keep not showing you that? There we go. Uh, there we go. So you can actually already see it here. Um, get sass, nothing to commit. So it, it just fired off into Git, saved everything, or committed everything, uh, and then did the deploy. So that's cool. So now I'll actually have many more commits on my site um, when I, whenever I do deployment. And that'll also help because I don't, uh, like when I make a new post, um, I don't specifically make a Git commit after that. Um, I, I usually only make commits when I'm working on uh, working on the site itself, like the actual, you know, the functionality, not the content, um, but it's all stored in the same directory space. So I can just make the deployment or make the commit every time when I'm doing a, a, a deployment. I like that. So that's cool. Uh, so that's done. That was easy. Uh, so we're going to move that one down here. Oh, I need to fix some of those. I might as well do one of them right now, just so I don't get further behind. Strike. Strike. And then let's go ahead and finish these up just because we're here and we can do it right now. And it's better to do stuff now. Uh, let's just do those to start with so I can see what's going on. And strike, and strike, and strike, and strike, and strike, whoops. Uh, just look at that real quick. That's the wrong file. Yeah, cool. I think I got most of them. Oh, I thought there was some that I didn't hit yet. Like this one. Cool. And this one. Ooh, that was a fun one. Getting my display page built. Love that thing. I swear that was already struck out. Oh yeah, it definitely was. What the hell? Can you wrap a strike around a bunch of LIs? Or actually be around the whole list, right? Fox, where's F? What does that do? Oh, you can. So I don't need to have, I don't need to add individual strikes in here. I can just strike the whole thing. Well, that makes it easier. Uh, 
Uh, so now what I want to do, I'm going to take this to a new page. We're going to do a find on strike and nuke those. And then we're going to do a find on slash strike and nuke those. Don't save it. Paste it back. And now we should see all of them struck. Boom. Better. Get rid of this. That was easy. You can probably do that with CSS too, right? You can probably make a class something or an ID something and then strike through, but tags work just fine there. I uh, have no idea if that's cross-browser compatible, but I am the only one that ever uses this because it's on my machine only. So sweet. That's nice. Uh, I like that. So get tags working on the Hugo site uh, is the next thing. So we're just gonna look through this. Um, you go tags. Taxonomies. Add a tag category. This is 2016. Yikes. Taxonomy templates. As always, I just like open a few links. Here, we'll get out with this one. I like dev. The dev.2, it's usually pretty good. Uh, tab support tags needs two pieces one template to render the list of tags, and another to render the list of everything under the tag. I'm documenting the process here. Right, so let me look at the documentation to start with, just to get a grounding in what's going on. Um, So that's my local site, isn't it? Yeah. I can't get the icon to update on my prod site. It just won't do it. I've tried lots of things. I haven't cleared my local browser cache, which I think would force it to do it. I'm trying to get it as if somebody else had already visited the site and try and get it to update for everybody instead of just on my local machine. And I have yet to be able to do that. I've changed the path name. I've added like question mark cache busting equals whatever. Um, just nothing. Uh, Hugo support for user defined taxonomies. Let's see, Cl includes support for user defined grouping of content called taxonomies. Logical relationships between content. Okay. Categorization, a keyword within a taxonomy, a piece of content. Okay. So a taxonomy is a categorization that can be used to classify the content. What's the difference between a taxonomy and a term? Um, so assume you're making moves on websites, you may include the following taxonomies, actors. Then each would be specified. Oh, okay. In the front matter for these items, you create pages for actor, director. Okay, so actors is the thing, and then actor is the. These terms, Hugo would automatically create pages for each actor. Okay. Taxonomy actor, term Bruce Willis, value six cents. Since. From the perspective of the content, the relationship would appear differently, although the data and labels used are the same. Value taxonomy, term, term. Oh, okay. Hugo taxonomy default to natively supports taxonomies. Yeah. Without adding a single line to your site config file, Hugo automatically creates taxonomies for tags and categories. That'll be the same as manually configuring your taxonomies as below. Disable kinds, taxonomies, terms, new in 73. We have fixed the before for confusing page kinds used for taxonomies. We've been careful to avoid site breakage. You should get an error in the console if you need to adjust your disable kind section. Okay, what? 
find home landing page for the home page example index landing page for a given page example my post page section posts section the landing page of a given section taxonomy term tags awesome the landing page for one taxonomy's term okay landing page for a taxonomy tags okay so tags you get an index html and tag okay so one thing to just look at okay that's already there and that's already there uh yep so tags are working now that's awesome okay uh Oops, tags, not tabs. Hey, live, yeah, this helps too. So I've got live coding and live coding without the space. Uh, I'm gonna do spaces because all that other stuff, pushing stuff together was uh, um, back in the days when you couldn't have spaces and things. That's cool. I should add titles to all this. Um, okay, cool. So now that's awesome. Cause what, now what I want to do is use the tags on the pages. Um, cause right now there's no, well, I want to do two things. Uh, thing one is basically where this edit is. I want to put a link to the first tag that comes up for the site for the page. Um, I don't want to have a, like a, a big list of tags. Most of the time when I'm tagging stuff, there's only, uh, there's only one or two tags in most of the stuff, I think. Um, I'm not trying to go like all over the place with tags. They're, they're really pretty, um, pretty simple. But when there's two, I don't want both of them to show up. I want the primary one to show up. Uh, and then on the page itself, I guess down at the bottom, maybe under, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it, but I want all the tags to, to show up. Um, maybe under the title, I don't know. Well, so first thing first is get the th things to show up. And then from there, excuse me, I need a mute button. I could probably make a mute button. Um, did that refresh? There we go. Uh, get that out of there. Get that out of there. Uh, we got one of those already. Get that out of there. Get that out of there. Leave that for now. Get that out of there. Okay, cool. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So, okay, I'm just I'm gonna keep looking at the documentation. I'll I'll check out that person's uh, post in a minute, but I want to go through the documentation first just to kind of see all the parts, um, kind of to see if I can figure it out myself or just what's up basically. Um, and then I'll dig down into the other one. So I kind of I kind of like that approach. Um, so we're gonna do that. Uh, when taxonomies are used, when taxonomy templates are provided, you'll learn how to both, both, automatically create both a page listing all the taxonomy terms and individual pages with list of contents associated with the terms. So that's what we saw, right? So tags. So here's the things, the terms, and then there's the um, the items in it. Uh, yeah, come here. For example, a categories taxonomy declared in your configuration and used for the front matter will create the following pages slash categories that lists all the terms within the taxonomy i wonder if categories does that do anything i don't think i have any categories yeah 
So it make, the page exists, but there's just nothing there. And I don't totally understand the difference between categories and tags. Um, individual taxonomy list pages. Yeah, categories development, right? Which would be the same as tags, live coding. For each of the terms, show them page, a lot of content. Yep. Taxonomies other than default must be designed in your site config. Okay, so you can make different taxonomies if you want to have them. I'm not interested in that. Tags is fine. Uh, removing the default. So I can get rid of categories. I do want to do that. I think I'm in Tumble. So this is just going to override. Let's do that. Where am I going? Uh, Sublime text Hugo. Bring on on down here. Here's our config file. And we're going to do this. Oh, also we can get rid of this now because we solved our highlighting by doing our own custom CSS based off ignorance. I can't remember which one. Do this to remove categories. I hope the pound sign is the comment for Tamil. We will find out shortly. Where's my thing? Here. Here we go. All right. So now, I guess we can use the one that already is there. So that should still work. But what happens if we go to categories now? Oh, it's still there. Actually, hang on a second. Let me restart this. on the life there we go still there now okay now it's not found okay yeah so dude i just didn't want that page hanging out because we don't need it so cool uh all right did that if you want to disable all taxonomies all taxonomies all together it's a lot of alls you know content Front matter your text on your text. I see content organization for more on how to add. You can add content and front matter to your taxonomy list and taxonomy pages. Ah. Yeah, okay, so you might be able to, or not might, I think what the saying is, get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Come here. Uh, also not the right one. I think what it's saying is you can add stuff here, basically. Uh, I'm not super worried about that right now. Add taxonomy to content. What's tagging identified in the site level? Any piece of content can be assigned to it regardless of content type, content section. Yeah, okay, so that's just... In, like I've already got this. So if you look at um, uh, one of these pages, uh, tags live coding. So that's where that's coming in. Oops, come here. Kind of be assigned weight for each of its associated taxonomies. Taxonomy weight can be used in sorting and ordering. And taxonomy list template. The convention for taxonomy name weight. Categories weight. Category, yeah, I don't need to get into any of that. Uh, add custom metadata to a taxonomy or term. Yeah, and it goes into the index, underscore index file. Uh, Okay, cool. Uh, now, how do we make them show up on the page? Content organization, nope. Taxonomy templates. Include taxonomy list pages, taxonomy terms pages, and using taxonomy in your single page templates. That's what we want to do. Uh, if you go employees, their sports, user defined groupings, taxonomies. Yes, we know this. Multiple ways to tag your projects. So, within a single page template. I'm not going to click on that yet. 
Not a lot of stuff here. That's okay. Text on me list template. List and therefore I have all the variables on my list pages. List template lookup order. Simple lookup. Nada. Uh, text on me term lookup order. Text on me methods. Okay. It's a map string weighted pages. Get count alphabetical by count reverse. Or text on. So maps are unordered. Oh, okay. Hmm. An ordered taxonomy is a special structure that has defined order. Each term has a slice term weighted pages count pages. Displaying custom taxonomy and templates. Yeah, okay. Taxonomies can be ordered either alphabetical or the n or by the number of content pieces that are associated to it. Okay, so if it's got 10, it's higher than five. Order content within taxonomies. Assigning weight. It's by a single piece of content taxonomies. Okay, within your content templates, Maybe I should display taxonomies that that piece of content is assigned to. Yep, that's what we want to do. Visual params taxonomy plural. Example list tags and a single page template. This is probably what we can copy and paste. So get terms tags for a range. Permalink link title. New and Hugo 6.5. Okay, I, I just upgraded to 7.5 recently from 5 something. I just want to look through the rest of this before we try it, uh, just see what else is here. Uh, if you want to list taxonomies inline, it'll take care of optional plural endings as well as commas. Let's see, I have a taxonomy directors, such as directors, blah, blah, blah. Director. Oh, you're going to add the S with param taxos. Taxos equals directors. Gotcha. List content with the same taxonomy term. Okay, so you can get all the other pages. List all content in a given taxonomy. That's what that other page does. Render the taxonomies. We're doing that. List all taxonomy terms and assigned content. Yes, that's just going to burn out the whole site, basically. Site, get page for taxonomies. Because taxonomies for lists, get page function can be used to get all the pages associated with a particular taxonomy. Okay, yeah. The following ranges over the full list of tags on your site and links to each of the individual taxonomy pages for a term. Let's use a more fragile URL construction. Okay. Anyways, uh, cool. So let's go copy and paste this code into one of our pages. So we removed categories, so that's cool. Uh, let's back to the other site. Let's do this. From here, you go. So we're going to go our themes. See if I can find it on the first or third try. Uh, layouts. Partials. Nope. Uh, default. Maybe. Baseless single. Yeah, here is. Yeah, single title. So this is where we, um... oh wait, is that in here? That's cool. I didn't know that had its own, its own complete thing. Oh, well that's why I couldn't get the date to show, or the edit button to show up in the right place. It should have been here. Um, but now that I'm here, 
Let's do this. What's that gonna do? Let's look at this. Live coding. Boom. Excellent. So that was easy. Uh, I'll have to figure these out in a minute, but let me find one. Do any of these have anything different? Ruby. Okay, there we go. I didn't know I had a Ruby. I've never seen that. Let's try G. Oh, there's more than... Oh, yeah, there's a bunch. Okay, that makes more sense. <coughs> so the other thing I'll try at some point is just to list all the tags straight down. No need to, no reason to have to scroll through pages for that. Uh, but that's another step. So here, okay, we got these, we got this. Uh, so what I really want to do, I don't want to that. I just want to print it. Uh, this is where I want that code. So for one, let's put that above that here. If it has a published date, I want that. Let's see what happens if we put this here. Hmm, where do we want it? That works for now. I'm, I'm not going to worry too much about the placement of it until I get it working the way that I want. Um, or am I? What is this? I like this line here. What does this line give us? I want to go above that line. What's here? I like it better in the middle. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to put it back there real quick. Here. Okay, that's cool. And that brings us to that. That's cool. That's here. Come here. And then journal. Yep. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Uh, and also, oh, it would be tags journal. to show the journal. Uh, but I bet you can edit that. And what I'd really want to do is have it go to that, which I'm sure is possible to do. Uh, but this is cool for now. So that's fine. Uh, I need one with multiple tags. So I'm just going to throw something in, in the mo for a moment just to see it. Uh, show me content. Show me that file. Oh wait, you know what? Aha, I built an edit button. There we go. I don't have, I don't have a good title for that. Okay, so this is what we got. Um, now what I need to do is, oh, you know what? I could style them and kind of make them buttons. And then just apply Cause what I was thinking I would do was put a, um, put like a comma in between them. Um, this is going to get into designy stuff, which I'm not going to dive into too much right now. Let me figure out how to put a comma in between them. Um, just to have that as a thing for right now. Uh, where is it, this one? Page bundles, it was this one. Common delimited tags and a single page template. Okay, so range. I wanna see, what's the difference between this and the one that I've got? Not that. So 
So this is where I am. Range get terms tags. But it has this director. I don't understand the syntax at all. I looked it up some of the stuff up at one point, but um Oh, so you're you're creating an index. Let's look at this up actually. I'm guessing functions. Brrr, range. Iterates over a map, array, or slice. Make heavy use of range. Other templating language is a for each for the equivalent functionality. Okay, so it's a for each. Range is a function and template in Hujo. That's not helpful. Da, 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 da. I just want to see the syntax for range. I don't think I've got that. Whoops. Mm -mm. Uh. Oh, you know what I do need to make sure? Well, I'll do my stream notes in a minute. Um, oh, actually, I can make a new stream notes. I would have to figure out which one's which. This one's real. Let's put you there. If functions, adding numbers. Pairing numbers includes partials. Declaring a variable name for an array's array elements value. Okay. A variable name for a map elements key and value. Element key value for a map elements for a map. Whew, I don't I don't understand. The first declared variable will map to each map keys element. Okay. Uh, declaring variable name for an array elements index and value. So I think we need to do this because I was just looking at that other code, right? And it has, this is where it's making the determination to see if it should put a comma in, which is what we're gonna wanna do. So what I was trying to look up was this syntax. And so, element index, element value, and then you give it the array. What I thought it said it was a map, but it looked, the syntax looks the same. Right, so let's, well, it said it was a map. I'm gonna try it with the array first and see what happens. Let's do this. Uh, I don't know how to comment in Hugo. Oh, not that kind of comments. Hugo code comments. How do I comments in a template? Is that what I'm looking for? I wish all this junk wasn't up at the top of every single one. Like, we want comments. Okay, so slash star. So let me do this.
is the template over here. Range. Look at that. Uh, that's okay for now. I got my comment, so we're gonna go make this one a comment. So it was slash star, star slash, I think. And then this is gonna be what we pass into it. Let's just see what that does. Okay, and this is the new one, there we go. All right, so it's working. It's still looping over the array. So the question is, can we close this one? I really should clean those up. So element index, element value, but where was this code? Why is there a dash there? I don't understand that. There's dashes on some of these. Alternate Remy is a delimit template function as a shortcut of taxonomies. Should just be listed with a separator. I wanna see if I can figure this out, but I don't understand what those are for. Oh, are those? No, because there would be one here too. Um, Why is there a dash there? What's the difference? Uh, there we go. Look at you, Google. Just start me here. We don't need all that crap. We get it. It's for output and that's for partials. If you need to pass something, however, I came across that range the other day. What is the hyphen for? Trim the white space from either side of the go tag by including the hyphen and space immediately beside the corresponding docs examples. Has examples and research nicely. That's cool. I'm glad you didn't just say, why well, haven't you read the docs? Like, quote the docs. It's very good. Uh, they're calling short codes. Uh, I should maybe add some notes to that. Um, Hugo syntax. Output. These are for, whoops, are for partials. And so these are partials. Short codes. white space. Put that in our show notes. Uh, pen this one, Hugo. You go. Cool. Cool. So now, so it trims white space. So that's I, I don't need to worry about it. Um, I can either have it or not. White space doesn't matter in this particular case. Um, actually, it would right here, as a matter of fact, because we don't want to have white space in front of the uh, comma. Question is. So it was called element index. What's this gonna do? 
It's gonna put a comma there. Sweet. I thought it might have been a map. Uh, so let's try that white space thing. Cause, so the... Oh, uh, where is... All right, we can get rid of that. What if we put two dashes here? Is that gonna trim the white space all the way back to the tag? Do we want it there? Wait. I don't know. Let's just see what happens. How much did, okay, so is that... If I can get to it. Right, okay, so that's, there's zero white space. So if I take that out, does that give us white space? I think it did. It did. Sweet. Okay, cool. So there's there's our there's our tags on the on the page. Um, where is this? Why is that mouse so slow? What's going on? I, I don't understand Windows sometimes. Like the mouse, all of a sudden, is super crawling. Whatever. Next song. Uh, whoops. Let me do this. This just find one without it. Yep. So it's not. It only shows up in between tags. And actually, let's just put a third one in there. I gotta find a better balance of music. Uh, is it this one? So this one? Yeah, so comma, comma, perfect. Comma, 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 chameleon. There we go, we can get rid of those. Nice. I actually leave it there, that's not bad. Um, I'll change the color, but like, cause it's too up front, but it ain't bad. Uh, sweet, okay, so that is, let me close these out because we're done with those for now. That were good. So for ideas, the tag's working. Done. I mean, they're basically already working, but now they're showing up on the pages. Uh, I should read that person's article. Simple way to add tag support. You need two files. Terms alphabetical. Account page title, for header. So this is making. Terms. List header. Oh, this actually isn't what I would have been looking for anyways. Uh, okay. All good. Let me close some of this stuff. Just kind of look down and see what else this other person had. Disable text when I got comments, yeah. Um, well, and also, the way to disable it, according to the docs, was just to redefine this with only this in it and just omit that. Uh, let's see. Cool. Cool. Right, we've got tags. We're doing a Tomo though. Luckily, Hugo creates the list pages. Look up order. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Flying markup can be used to render the posts related to tags. Partial template. Make a page for tanks out of me, I guess. Tags, conclusion. Yeah. Hmm. Might actually be worth a little blog post talking about this because those things weren't exactly what I was looking for. Uh, sweet. Just page bundles. We can get into that at some other time. Cool. Close all this stuff. Close all this stuff. Close all this stuff. Should probably just leave tags open so you don't have to sit me watch, sit there watch me closing tags. 
Uh, close that. So now what I want to do is figure out how to get the tags to show up here and just the first one. Um, and that may be a thing. Uh, let's get our Hugo site open. Themes. Uh, it's in. Why can I never find it? The place that I want to go. Layouts, default, summary. Is this it? I think this is it because I saw the word edit there. There's our tags. Is that right? There it is. Okay, cool. Oh, the reason that's uh, that's so much lower than all this stuff. Yesterday, I spent a long time trying to figure out how to get the CSS done to push um, to to push the date up closer to the title, and so that's why they're offset. Uh, uh, relative positioning is what you want. Um, for that to happen, uh, which is probably old hat to CSS folks, but was new to me. So now, we're in this summary, which gets looped. Let me, so let me, so define main, okay. Um, partial, here's the introduction catalog range paginate pages dot pages i don't totally i sometime i need to just kind of walk down and go through the docs and figure all this out that's that's something that's worth doing um because i don't understand what i'm doing really at this stage i'm just kind of poking stuff until it goes um but this render summary comes back here and calls this and fires the stuff through it. Now, the thing that I think is good about this is I think what it's doing is passing this, it's passing the page to it somehow, or it is at least available because it's calling this like publish date um, and is draft and the title, which is somewhere in here. Um, where's the title? Oh, right here. Uh, so all that stuff is coming off of the um, the front matter. So title, date, drafts. So hopefully I can get the tags. How'd that go? Let's make it fast forward. Oh, it's broken. Why is the mouse so slow? No idea why the mouse is so slow. Oh, did I hit something? Oh, yeah, there's a button on there. Aha. I hit a button, and the button made it go slow. Still don't know why my fast forward button isn't working, though. Uh, let's take a look at a file. Let's go here. Tags. Let's just see what happens. It explodes. Execute, executing. Build template, field type tags, can evaluate tags and type page state. Yeah, so it didn't like tags. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, how, what, what did we do? Where did we actually just do that thing? Um, what page do we hit? Status. Config. Single. Default single. Right here. Is this what we just messed with? No. 
Oh, this is where I was adding the uh, the drafts button. What are the other files? Summary, layouts index. Let's try that. No, that's what we're on now. Partials title. Partials. What if we just copy all this stuff and put it in summary? What's that going to do? Looks like it rendered. Live coding. Journal. Sweet. So the easiest thing to do, so I can just start with... Well, you know what? I basically only tag one thing anyways. And yeah, and it put here's here's the the comma working. Screw it, I'm just gonna leave them all in. So that's in time. Where's my edit? Oh, I just put the edit in time too. Yeah, so this is not like semantic HTML. but it's going to format it the same. Uh, that's cool. And those are links. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I want to move the edit after it, though. Let's go to a few grow environment equals development. Oh, we can just grab that right there. We can put this right here, I think. Yep, there's our edit. Moved over. Uh, sweet. Sweet, sweet. And now let's just do... So if... So what I want to do now is if there's... If there's not any tags, which there's always going to be a tag, but on the opportunity... Uh, actually, you know what? There's always... There's effectively always going to be a tag as far as it working right. Of course, then I click on something there's not. Uh, okay, I do want to solve for it then because there's a bunch back there. Uh, so what I want to do is if there's a tag, I want to put a dash up front. If there's not a tag, I don't want to put a dash up front. So I'm going to put it, it's going to be somewhere in this range and then it's just figuring out the logic uh, on the range of how to uh, of how to get it there. So if greater than zero, do that. So if, okay, the thing that I don't know is if Hugo slash go templating indexes off zero or one, I'm guessing, I'm guessing it indexes off of zero uh, because it's putting the comma if the index is greater than zero and if it did it if it was one index that would mean it would put a comma every time uh so i think what i can do is i'm guessing eq is for equals and again the, the hugo stuff takes took me a little while to get around because it's normally i do like if element you know equals uh, zero, because I don't want zero index. That would be the syntax that I would use. Hugo basically takes this part and puts it first, and then does the comparison of the two elements. Um, and I think EQ is probably what we want to do. Um, so let's see what that does. There's a dash. And, oh, the edit has a dash in front of it, too. But I think that is here. So let's just do this. Right. So there's our dash. Now let's find one with two things in it. There's some back here, right? Yeah, so there's a there's our dash going into it. 
Ruby, comma, today I learned, and then edit. That's pretty good. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. And when I deploy it, you won't see the edits. The edit, that's just the button for me. Um, that's cool. So now let's just wrap the, uh, the CSS in it. So that's, that's the mechanics of it. Um, so let's do this. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do these notes. Um, I don't remember if I put that one in my other one or not. I probably didn't. It's fine. Now the go forward button works. Go forward button. Fast forward. The move it. So let's see. Uh, just need to. So here's time. Here's time. No, oh, catalog time. It's because it's in an A that it's changing the look. Right? I'm cool with it all being gray. So let me find the CSS file for that, which I think is resources. Nope. Assets. SCSS. Listen. Catalog. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. Why didn't that? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we're in catalog time. So can you just do... This is where I don't know SCSS. But can I just do... Where's the and? Oh, how would you do uh, an A? Just like this. That's what I'm looking for. A, this color red. Let's just see if we got it. We got it. So then, what is time? Color. Just keep all those the same. There you go. So there's still links, but they're just having. Oh, why didn't that work? Er. What the hell? Everybody saw it just a second ago, right? It wasn't just me. Those links changed colors. Now they're not changing colors. Reboot. What? Okay. They're red. Time has default tint. We put default tint here. Everybody agrees that they're gray. And now it appears they're staying gray. I don't know what happened. That was super weird. I kind of like this. Yeah, I do kind of like this. It's also interesting because I may change the titles here 
to drop live coding since live coding's down below it. And same thing for journal. Uh, nah, because then when you get to this page, oh, it says journal. Yeah, I may change the uh, change the titles. I'll have to think about that. That would be cool. Yeah, so I kind of like the the live coding for the SEO stuff, but it would have live coding on all the pages. I mean, without the hashtag. Um, I guess you could make the tag the hashtag. Make the tag the hashtag. I'll need to think through that a little bit, uh, but I like it. I really like that. That's good. Here, let's find a page without all the red all over it. That's pretty good. I may I may play around with the design a little bit, but generally speaking, I'm really happy with that. Uh, yeah, so I think that's gonna do it. We'll uh, we'll play around ne again next time, but that's. Uh, just go ahead and move the stuff down the list. Put tag for first. So I'm doing all the tags right now, I but I, I like it. So I, I thought in my brain when I was first doing it that I was going to want to have uh, just the first tag there, but I didn't mind. I like, I didn't mind it back on some of these. Because really what I want to get to probably is where most posts really just have a tag, um, I think. Uh, that's mainly where I'm going now. Yeah, probably. Who knows? Uh, th okay, so that'll, that'll do it for now. Uh, hope you all have a good one. And... We'll see you next time. Uh, until then, be kind and uh, take care. See you.